today we're in London and we're going on a little food tour. I'm taking you with me. The first place we're going to is to get some coffee. So the first place we're at is called, what's it called? Roasting Plant Coffee. I didn't actually plan to come here. We're just here because Elliot was getting tired and I was like, you need a coffee, sunshine. And we've got an hour to kill before our Sunday roast. But to be fair, now I think about it, I have seen this place online. You get to choose your coffee. We've got all these different coffees, all loads about it. I asked which one was the sweetest and the lady said that there's a Brazilian one that's got notes of chocolate. So I went for the Brazilian chocolate nutty tasting coffee as a latte, extra hot. Here is my latte. All right, time for the taste test. It's so cool how like the beans just come out. Super clever. Mmm, that is seriously good. Oh, it's so thick and creamy. Got to add a cheeky sweetener. And it got a flat white, which was oat milk, and I, my latte, and it came to £7.80. Where Elliot lives, the coffee shops near him are just as expensive, and we're in central London, so not too bad. That got dusted. So the next place is called Black Lock, and it's Sunday after all. We're here for a Sunday roast, but not just any Sunday roast. We're having the all in. They're going to take it's going to say, it's been massive. So they do have normal roasts, but the all in, you get beef, lamb, pork, and everything else that you need to get in a roast dinner, but it's huge, and you share it. We have placed our order. I must say, the staff here, lovely. Very attentive, pour out our water for you. Look, the water is in a gin glass. Doesn't taste like gin. When they first brought it over, I was like, bloody hell, that's a big gin shot, I'm driving. But no, it's water. Head. Is it hot? <laughs> and we've got the gravy with it as well. Is it hot? Yeah. Oh my god, the gravy. First taste of the gravy. Oh my god, that gravy. That gravy is so nice. Oh boy. Mm. Oh my god. That starter. Unreal. We've got our plates, which means it's on the way.
Oh my God, I tell you what, that was the best roast in my life. I feel like, I feel like I could conquer anything right now. I just conquered that giant roast. And then we had cheesecake, which was the best cheesecake ever. White chocolate cheesecake. Oh, yeah. But it's like a tiramisu, like you scoop it out like a tiramisu. And the staff were so friendly, the vibe was so nice. And we had a table for 12 o'clock and it was busy. So I'm just, I'm in London, so I'm cautious that my bag's open. Can you hold my bag? Sure. Can you do it up, please? Yeah. Yeah, it was literally to die for. And I would rate it a solid 10 out of 10 or five stars or 100%. Anyway, we're both stuffed and now we're heading to Covent Street. Is it Covent? Oh no, Covent Garden. Uh. Okay, we're in Covent Garden now and the next place we're going to is called Barnaby and it's these chocolate bars. Anyway, let's go check it out. It's literally across the road. Well, we're not eating them now. <laughs> check this out. customer service for Barnaby Bars. I know it's a test kitchen, so it might not actually be their staff as such, but like the man was not friendly. <laughs> he wasn't, I mean, I don't know, I feel bad saying he wasn't friendly. He wasn't, was he friendly? No. No, he, he was quite friendly. I, okay, I hadn't decided quite yet what I wanted when I got there. So I was like, oh, what's the best one? And he was like, peanut butter. And I was like, oh, I, I don't really like peanut butter. And then he said the second one and yeah, I guess it was kind of my fault because I didn't directly know what I want, but also he just wasn't friendly. He wasn't like, oh, hello, what can I get you? Which, I work in a coffee shop. Sometimes you have to do that. I can be in the worst mood ever, but I'll still be like, hi, hello. I'll still be friendly. Maybe he was just having a bad day, you know? We all have them. Maybe the bars will make up for it. Back home now. All that's left to do in this video is try our Barnaby bars. So we've got matchstick, dollar, and a speculous one. So I'm gonna go through what they all are because they're very posh. These are essentially posh chocolate bars and the description of them is insane. They are pricey. For three, it was nine pounds, which is quite expensive if you ask me. But they're big, look at that. It's like pretty decent, pretty decent. I would say it's like a chunky Mars bar size. Yeah, comparing it to a Mars bar, three pound 15 for one is expensive. We're gonna slice them open, see what the cut's like, and I'm gonna rate them out of 10 but they're looking very, very tempting. Contender number one is Matchstick. Now this one is s'mores, so it's gonna be mostly marshmallow, I think with like a little biscuit or something, and some smooth chocolate apparently. But let's see how it cuts. Oh my God. Wow. Look at that. Yes. Okay, I've also got my TikTok here. So if I'm looking there, that's why. <laughs> Look at it, it looks so cool. Let's try it. Mmm. We're going for a seven out of 10. Mmm. I almost think the marshmallow is too soft. So you don't really taste it. Like I feel like if the marshmallow was salted caramel or something, then that would be way better. Let's try the one that's a little bit squished. This one is cheesecake. I've already had my uh, share of cheesecake today, but moving on. Oh wow, that one's very melty. Wow. I've got high expectations for this one. I feel like this is gonna be my favorite. Yes, that's a solid nine out of 10. It was not as good as the cheesecake that I just had in Black Rock, I'll tell you that for free, but it's biscoffy. I love the Biscoff sauce at the top. The cheesecake, you can tell it's not like real cheesecake and it doesn't need to be kept in the fridge. It's kind of squishy. Taste wise, nine out of 10. Texture, I do think is a bit strange, but it does taste delicious. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, wow. The dollar, the dingo dollar. Look at that. It's not what I expected. There's a lot of shortbread. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Nowhere near as sickly. Oh, that shortbread's really good. I'm going to change my answer for this one. Rate that 
an eight and this a nine because I prefer this one. That's my favorite for sure. Look how thick the shortbread is. Actually, I would like more caramel, but the shortbread is seriously good. Wow, I hope you enjoyed this little foodie day around London. I'm going to end the video here. I'm well and truly full up. I'm not gonna lie, those bars, I just ate all of them. And Elliot was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll try some later. Well, in a couple hours time, he's gonna realize that I ate them all. And I'm gonna be like, well, sorry. I mean, I did pay for them. So yeah, Darcy, you should eat them all, as you should, sis. <laughs> But he's gonna be like, you fat pig. No, he's not. He's not gonna call me a fat pig. You wouldn't, would you, Decky? Decky? <laughs> he's sniffing around because he saw me eat chocolate bars. He's like, you got any left for me? And I'm like, no. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. <laughs> he can smell it on my breath. <laughs>